All right, Nina, let's jump in on your visual branding and commercial editorial work. Your work is really clean and um, it's strong. This is what I'm talking about as far as layout goes um, in that it's not so many photographs on one page. I can kind of take them in a little bit better. I like your mix of a very simple white background, which is something you seem to do a lot, and uh, your location work. So it it doesn't get it doesn't feel too repetitive, um, but it feels like a nice mix, and it feels like that's something that I can expect. I can expect like something like a really simple, clean kind of white background, very simple look and then I can get something on location. Um, now, like since this is pulled up, let's just take a look at this. We've got a picture like this that is uh, bringing you in, right? All of these leading lines and this perspective going off into the background. I really want to put him right dead center into it. The picture is screaming this tunnel vision from the lens you know, to the background, and then he's just slightly off. He's not like way off kind of a thing, but he's almost there in the middle, but not quite. I feel like these lines need to be straightened up, and it, it just feels skewered and off a bit. Um, so I would probably kick that one out of your portfolio. But overall, everything is really clean. You have a very consistent look. Uh, you have a consistent post-production. Here's another picture where I would like for his head to be in a cleaner spot. I would love for his head to be about right there in between those two structures. The light is nice. The pose is even nice. Um, everything is nice, but that one thing just coming right out of his head there is bugging me when if you just moved a little bit to your left from where you shot this you could have put him right there in between those two structures and whatever's going on in the background would have been out of focus and he would have been nicely framed right there or if you're not doing that then put him here uh, just framed within the solid of that background and let that all go out of focus on down behind him. I feel like one or the other, but not this right in the middle. Like it's a good solid clean edit. There's a nice little mix of black and white. This is like I brought up in Altamash, uh, that kind of odd vertical composition. I either want to come in and fix it like that, or I want to give more space to the left kind of a thing. I feel like this composition as it stands, it's not quite center third, it's not to a left third. And I know the rule of thirds is just simply, you know, a starting point. You can break the rules. I understand that. I, I just feel like it needs some sort of crop. It, it's, it's just unbalanced. Uh, in my opinion. Let's take a look at the screenshot of your food work. I think your food work is nice. I think pictures like this, it's uh, it doesn't quite have the same quality of light as your other food photos do. Um, it looks a little more just kind of flash, harsh. Uh, it works with this bread here, but the shiny coating on that croissant it just, the specular highlights right in there, just make it kind of look cheap. And that slate board that it's sitting on is not dead on straight in the photo. It's kind of off and skewered a little bit. And I kind of want to fix that. So I honestly would just take that out altogether. And I think pictures like this here and this here, you don't need both of them. You need one or the other. So pick one and move on. 
I like your behind the scenes and the people and the detail shots. Uh, I don't feel the light on this one is very good. It's a nice moment. That might be a better in a black and white because the color's a little off and it's a little muddy. It's just lacking a crispness or a sharpness to it that uh, your other work has. So I would try that in black and white or get rid of it altogether. Um, again, pick one or the other, um, whichever you prefer or you think works best. I don't think you need both of those in your gallery at once. This picture in particular, I really feel does not read well. I get that it's something deconstructed, but it just looks like a dirty plate and your focus is so shallow that the top of whatever's going on is out of focus. And really all that's in focus is all of this stuff, which again, it's just not reading as a deliberate plate that a chef has made. It, it just reads as messy and dirty. And your client may have loved that and your client may be like, that's exactly what I want it to look like for them. Doesn't mean it needs to be in your gallery. You can move on down the road with that. Um, I really love this shot. Just a, It's a nice little detail to throw in here with your food stuff. You already have this type of bread photo above it. I don't think you need another one. Again, one or the other. One or the other. We don't need both. And I like this shot, I think, more than that one. But one or the other you don't need both and this last little five image editorial i think you could probably bring that down to just showing three that you're showing a you know a day in the kitchen with mom so i think like this one this one and a detail shot kind of a wide medium and tight you know or you could go with this one here get that one out and then you have three pictures and that's all you need to tell the story boom 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 uh you have a lot with this marbly looking background and i feel like you don't need that many and that you could probably choose three of them put that together and call it a day finally let's take a look at your projects and what I like about your projects page is it's highlighting specific jobs and projects you've worked on. And it's almost like a blog, but without you having to constantly update it. And I like that you walk through the process. So it gives me kind of an idea of what it would be like to work with you. My favorite picture of yours, which is on your front page, but not in your portrait, is of uh, this lady here. Like this is uh, just a thumbnail on your front page and it's really intriguing it makes me stop it i i want to know what's happening like what is the story what is the narrative um this is this is a great portrait i love this portrait it's probably my favorite on your site and then you go into you know all of the work behind the scenes and this is really nice i like it my one critique as far as the website layout is this all works great with horizontal pictures, but as soon as you get to verticals, you have to scroll, at least if you're looking on a tablet. So I don't get an idea of the whole picture. Like I can't see the whole picture all at once. So if there's any way that you can go in and figure that out. Now I understand that maybe on a big iMac or a larger monitor, this isn't an issue but take a look on your phone or on a tablet. Um, I would like to see the whole picture without scrolling. Yeah. But Nina, overall, like your work is really super clean. Um, I think there is a great market for this kind of work. People who need their own brand visualized for their social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, all, this, all of that. It looks like you have a consistent style, but you can shoot in diverse places and locations. And it looks like you get along well with your subjects. So 
um, they all seem really comfortable in front of your camera. So big kudos to that for you. So thanks for sending it in. Blake, you asked for me to critique this one story. And I'm going to be honest with you, Blake. I'm, I'm not in love uh, with this editorial story. I have no idea what's happening. So we got dude here who looks so disinterested. He just does not want to be there at all. Um, and I'm guessing he calls this girl who shows up, checks herself in the mirror. I like this picture. Like, as far as just a standalone picture, I dig this picture here in the hallway a lot. She shows up with flowers. Look at his face. I mean, he could not give any fewer shits about what's happening. Maybe her face is wondering why. Then she's changed clothes and they're having a meal. Again, he couldn't care less. Now they're in bed, camera aware. Um, different outfit? Different outfit. Uh, she goes to brush her teeth. Now she's back in her clothes. He's taking the shoe off. The lighting, everything changes in this picture. This is a completely different, 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 different picture. If we look at them all together, like it's all this yellow, 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 then colorful, gelled, blue going on, and then very neutral at the end. So it's somehow the yellow color went to the murder and then it was all fine. Like I, there's just no narrative. Now this picture is interesting. The lighting is interesting. I feel that the subject is finally somewhat bringing something to uh, the photograph instead of just standing there with clothes on. They, I don't believe it. And you know, it's a fashion story. Who believes any fashion story, right? But it's just, it makes absolutely no sense to me at all. I don't know where it's going. It doesn't really show the clothing that well. These two shots here at the end are just super repetitive. And it, it all feels very forced and very sterile and like no one had any fun on this shoot. I don't think you had fun on this shoot. I don't think they had fun on the shoot except for putting ketchup all over the floor because that looks like ketchup. So I would work on like making fake blood. Your compositions are clean and like I've gone and looked at some of your other work uh, so you know how to shoot. I, I, I don't think technically other than this yellow color cast going on I don't think that's an issue, but it, it's just your storytelling. There's not a narrative there. Um, I don't feel these subjects are at all involved or want to be. Um, they just look super stiff. And um, yeah, the one compelling image that you know makes me want to stop and look is this one. And even then, it's a little too literal. It's a departure from the boring. Like, at least this one's got a little interest to it and has caught my eye. Whereas the other one's not so much. Although for a single picture, I kind of dig that shot. I'm, I'm all about symmetrical pictures and you nailed the symmetry uh, on this photo. Overall, as a single picture. But that face that of him right there, just, I, I don't want to look at this picture anymore. Let me look at something else. So I, I know you, you just said that one, but like this editorial here, again, it feels very forced and literal. Um, it feels like she's been told to strike a pose and hold it and stay there for a long time. I don't understand why she is in an airplane, 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 and then a train, and then by the water. It's, and for this shot here, it's 
too literal. She's holding the travel section. She has, you know, luggage you bought at a thrift store. And it's trying to give it this vintage feel. But then you've got this, thanks, something executive aircraft, auto clinic, aircraft services. I, I get that that may have been the access you've been given, but you really need to retouch that picture or that sign out of it. It really just kind of loses it. And then it's, it's just too literal, too literal, too overpropped, things like that. Um, and while this girl, she is a pretty girl. I've said this many times and I'll say it many times again. A pretty girl does not a model make. She's not bringing any sense of personality or narrative to these pictures. She just kind of looks stiff and uncomfortable. And it's your job as a photographer to make them not feel that. Now in this Zara editorial, see, she's bringing something to it. She has an opinion about things in the world. She is involved in this process. She has movement, she has flow. There's a connection um, I, the viewer, make with her, the subject. And overall, I'm, it's, you know, these pictures, I think singles are fine. As a story, as an editorial, it's not telling me a story at all, but she's great. And uh, she's bringing that something, that X element to the shoot. And that is what you need more of. If you had someone like her and a male counterpart to your hotel story, and then you didn't go in a, a literal narrative, then something could come out of that. And this is where giving critique uh, is difficult for me because, you know, Blake, I know that you put work into this. I know that you gathered people together, you gathered wardrobe, you got a location set, you put time into it, you, all the things. Like, I can't imagine how much time and resources you pulled from to bring this visual story together. And then I come along and in a matter of 30 seconds, just tear it apart. And I realize how gut-wrenching that can be. I realize how discouraging that can be. And I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to just be an asshole stomping on people's work. I want you to realize that I understand how much you put into this. Um, but the next time you gather a crew and you gather wardrobe and you find a location and you put your time and your resources and all of this together, I, w I want you to, uh, I want you to let go a little bit. I want you to have a little more fun. It feels very boxed in A, B, C. And a fashion editorial should flow. Oh, my coffee's ready. Um, there should be a flow. There should be an energy to it. There should be a, it, it moves from one thing to the next that you're telling the story, but it, it's open to interpretation a little bit. Um, I mean, I know why she killed him just because of that look on his face. I had killed him too and left him in the shower and then gone home and slept eight hours. Absolutely. Um, so you have photographic talent. So Put that to the side because it's there. It's already working for you. And now just flow a little bit. Just flow with the water. Daniel Sun, grasshopper. Okay, everyone. That's been a critique for today. And you can say, wow, that was really long-winded. But if you know me, that's what you're going to get. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to have your work critique, Drop it in the comments below and I'll see how many I can get to. Can't get to them all, but I'll try to get to a lot. Thanks. Boom, boom, boom.